Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the 350 million download celebration player survey is officially here. And in today's video, we are going to complete it together so that we can let Bandai know how they can improve the game in the future. But also, more importantly, so I can get my free dragon stones. So uh, before we jump in, let's quickly read this. It says, Dear players, we are now holding a player survey on the 350 million global DLs reach campaign. We'd love to hear your feedback. Players who answer the survey will receive seven dragon stones as a gift. Not bad. So now we just hit the link and it'll take us to the survey. Here we go. Thank you for playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Please take a moment to answer the survey below. Question one, please tell us your gender. Male, please tell us your age, uh, 25 to 29. And please tell us your occupation. Uh, that would be self-employed slash business owner. Next. Okay, four. How satisfied are you with Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle? Uh, <laughs> this is a very tough question because obviously there are aspects of the game that I'm pretty satisfied with. And then there are other aspects where I'm very unsatisfied. So I guess if you combine them and average it out, it would be... I don't know, uh, some, somewhat satisfied. I mean, we're coming off a very good celebration. Like, I felt like the 350 million download celebration was very, very good. Um, as far as major celebrations go in terms of content, in terms of the generosity of free stones, you know? Like, I thought they did a pretty good job this time around, especially coming off of last year, which was pretty horrible. So... At the moment, I think my sentiment for Dokkan is at a near all-time high, so it's a good time to ask this question, basically. Um, somewhat satisfied, I'm gonna say for now, and in terms of why I feel satisfied slash dissatisfied, I mean, um, the last celebration was good, however, however... Where is, oh, however, um, there are, wait, there are still various aspects that need improvement, cannot type, improvement, uh, improvement, such, such as the friend system, uh, system and events like world sword like <laughs> so, uh, like world tournament and chain battle period next okay i thought that was a pretty good answer how strongly would you recommend dragon ball Z battle to someone who likes dragon ball um I mean, that's how I got into it, right? Someone at the gym was like, yo, you like Dragon Ball. You wear, you know, Vegeta and Goku tank tops, so you might like this game. And he was right. So I'm going to say an 8 because I think most people that are into Dragon Ball would enjoy it. But at the same time, it could lead to spending problems, <laughs> So, which is obviously something I experienced. So um, I'm going to say an 8. I can't strongly recommend it, but... I would probably recommend it to most Dragon Ball fans. Okay, seven. How strongly would you recommend Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle to someone who doesn't know or like Dragon Ball? Okay, so it's pretty rare that somebody <laughs> who's not into Dragon Ball would enjoy a like, game like this, you know? Because like they don't really know the characters, they don't really care as much about the different uh, scenes represented in the super attacks and active skills and stuff like that. And the gameplay, I mean, to someone who like doesn't really care about Dragon Ball, it's going to be kind of bland. It's going to be kind of lame. So I, I, I'm going to say like a 2, maybe even a 1, maybe a 0. Yeah, I, I, I'll say 1. There's a slight chance because I know personally of somebody who's not into Dragon Ball, namely Android 18, <laughs> who still plays it. So I guess, um, you know, there are some anomalies. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to say a 1. Okay, next. Uh, how often do you play Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle? Okay, so... Uh, the answer for me would be... 
I have been playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle before the 350 million global download celebration began because the other ones are haven't played recently, haven't been playing recently, installed and played after the celebration began, and started playing after the celebration began. But hold on, are the last two not the same thing? Yeah, the last two answers are literally the same thing, unless I'm crazy. I think they're the same. Okay, anyways, first one is my answer. Question 9 is loading up. Uh, please select all the ways you became aware of the 350 million global download celebration. I mean, I just follow all the news, so... And also I know when they happen every year, so there's that, but... Um, let's see... Official website, no. Saw it on Twitter, yes. Facebook, no. Instagram, yes. Um, social media teaser posts, okay. Uh, Dokkan Now special, pre-Dokkan Now reminder video, special Dokkan movie, uh, character PVs, via yeah, Hulu, we don't have Hulu in Canada, unfortunately. Uh, AMC, ABC, no, heard about it from a relative, heard about it from a friend, I guess technically, yes. Uh, side on news sharing platform, side on YouTube. Um, saw an ad, no, I didn't see any ads, really. Okay, I think those are the main ones, but at the end of the day, like, I just know, because I've been playing this game for so long, so I'm aware, like, this is the time that download celebrations happen after the anniversary, right? Uh, was there enough content for the 350 million global DL uh, DLs breach campaign? Um, here's the thing. I always want more content. I think that they legitimately did a pretty good job this year. I really do. I, I, I gotta give my kudos to, uh... And Diana Skotsky for making up for just the horrible celebration last year. So, um, I want to say just right is it, but it's not just right though. You know, there were still some dry spells in there, which means that there could be more content. So I'm gonna say not enough, not nearly enough. It's a little bit harsh, but not enough. I think is is fair. Uh, <laughs> Eleven, which events uh, do you like? More than one answer is possible. Okay, so. The returning campaign is fine. Um, man, there's a lot of stuff. Eh? Okay, so yes, um, ticket collecting campaign, of course. Uh, select character Stokan Festival. Yes, that's the Red Dragonstone, I'm pretty sure. Um, hurry up, Goku. Friends are waiting on Planet Namek. Team co-op campaign. Sure, why not? Break through the enemy lines. Worldwide showdown campaign. Break through the enemy lines. I don't remember exactly what that was, but okay, sure. I like these, support for Extremes The Awakening, San Diego Lore campaign, that was awesome. The returning, like, Tarkyo statues for Extremes The Awakenings, very much needed for every Extremes The Awakening, in my opinion. Uh, special event, to the universe, journey to planet Namek, okay. Limited attempts event, courage to max, warriors gathered before the Kai. I don't even remember this one, okay. Astonishing power up, uh, Grand Elder Guru's guidance, no. No, this event was trash. I'm not gonna choose that one. Uh, full of Crisis, Bulma on duty. Yo, this is the Bulma Stone event. <laughs> and I wish I could vote for this one like 10 times because this is literally the most generous event of all time. I think we got 340 stones in total when it was all said and done, you know, like over the course of a month. So yeah, if you don't choose that one, you're crazy. Um, Dokkan events for Goku and Frieza, sure, why not? New story events, yes. Uh, Extreme Z area for Ginyu Force, love it. Extreme Z area planet saga, dynamic saga, awesome. Extreme Z awakening for first form Frieza, of course, and for the Goku. Uh, Extreme Z battle for LR Bardock, obviously. Collection of epic battles, it was good. Furious charge, breaking the siege. Didn't love this one. Didn't love this, love this one because I feel like it was something that like uh, new players would not be able to complete or like basically my issue with it is it seems to be a limited event right it seems to be an event that might not be coming back and i could be wrong maybe it will return right but if it is an event that was limited to this celebration like some of the other ones that we've had in the past like the frieza nuking event stuff like that then that means you know newer players or returning players or people who are fairly like free to play for example might not have a chance to beat it in the future, which is, which kind of sucks, right? So, uh, for this one, I'm gonna leave out. I don't think we need events necessarily like this. 
So uh, let's move on to, yeah, of course, Ultimate Clash. That was fine. Explosive Chain Battle. No, I'm good. Okay, so <laughs> for 12, let's see. Which ones did you not like? Okay, so I'm going to say Furious Charge. I'm going to say Explosive Chain Battle just because I hate the event. Um, and then, what was the other one? Uh, wait, which one did I not choose over here? Oh, Elder Grand Guru's Guidance. There you go. All right, so those three. Next. <laughs> okay. 13. Did you perform any summons in the dual Dokkan Festival during Super Saiyan Goku and Full Power Frieza? Yes. Next. If you replied yes, what made you stop performing summons? <laughs> Uh, because I want to save my Dragon Stones for later summons, but I felt, un I fe I felt unlocked enough. Wait, what? I felt I oh I felt I unlocked enough of the featured character's potential, because I got the featured characters I wanted, because I got the characters I wanted, even if they weren't upon the featured ones, because I didn't get the characters I wanted, or because or so I will wait for the summons revival. Other, because Goku shafted me so bad that I couldn't afford to continue summoning period okay yeah I got the one copy but it took me so many stones that I couldn't really continue right did you perform summons on the did you perform summons in the top legendary summon featuring Vegeta and Krillin slash Kid Gohan yes um, if you replied yes, what made you stop summoning, uh, performing summons? Um, let's see. I guess this one's applicable here because I didn't get the characters I wanted, so I will wait for the summon survival. So yeah, I, I kept summoning after I made my videos for uh, Krillin and Gohan, right? Obviously, I got the Vegeta and Goku, but I didn't get the Krillhan, as people like to say, or some people say, I guess. And uh, I gave up at the end, you know, like it was too many stones for this LR that I didn't really need that bad. So uh, I'll wait for them to come, to come back or wait for them to become available in the Baba Shop, right? So, uh, yep, next. 17. Please let us know about the du Dual Dokkan Festival and Top Legendary Summon. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I prefer the Dual Dokkan Festival and prioritize playing it over the Top Legendary Summon. You don't say. You don't say. I mean, come on. Dual Dokkan Fest is infinitely better. Everybody has to choose this, man. Like, maybe because of this, they'll give us two Dual Dokkan Fest instead of a top legendary summon at Dual Dokkan Fest. Probably not. But I'm just saying, you know, this is clearly the right answer. Uh, please let us know why I chose that answer. Um, because I want the Dual Dokkan Festival limited characters more than the legendary summon. Um, it worked out because, that way because of the event periods, uh, because I like the pickup characters, because there are many characters available I like. Uh, no, I think it's just because I want I want the Dual Dokkan Fest characters. I mean, the real answer really is the banners are just better, right? The Dual Dokkan Fest banners are better than the Legendary Summon, so maybe I should have uh, picked the other one. It's fine. Uh, how satisfied were you with the 350 million global DL campaign? Um, okay, look, we can't say completely satisfied. We just can't do it. Okay, that's giving them too much praise. <laughs> Even though they did a good job, we need them to continue improving. So I'm going to say somewhat satisfied. Um, so, you know, good events. Uh, generous with with dragon stones but but still could have used more playable content in my opinion okay is that it uh oh there's more did you watch doka now special i watched it live next uh, if you replied either I watched it live or I watched it on archive, how satisfied were you? Uh, it was good. Completely satisfied. I like these. If you replied I watched it live or blah blah blah, um, in what way did Dokkan Now Special influence you? Um, I like Dokkan Battle more. My expectations rose slash fell. No, they kind of stayed the same. Um, seeing the reveals for the Goku and Freeze Super Attacks made me want to recruit the characters featured. Yes. 
Uh, introductions, blah, blah, maybe you want to recruit the characters. Yes. Um, I logged to Tokon Battle after watching the video. I mean, I always log into Tokon Battle, though, so that's not really relevant. Um, uh, my trust in Tokon Battle rose after watching the producer. Not really. I felt like telling my friends about Tokon Battle. I felt like telling my friends about Tokon Out Special. I wasn't influenced in any way. Um, okay, so these four are applicable. Man, this is a really long survey. It's not worth the seven stones anymore. They got they got to give us more. Like for our time, this is not worth it. What kind of content would you like to see in Dokkan now? Uh, introduction of abilities of new characters. Introduction to in-game animations. Introduction to characters who are newly available for Extreme Z Awakening. Introduction to story events. Yes. Uh, attainable characters from new story events. In-game animations from story events. Uh, introduction to other new events, yes, in-game missions, yes, strategies for ongoing events, recommended parties, etc. I don't know if we need that, but that'd be cool, I guess. Interviews with guests, sure. Introduction to plan upcoming events or updates, yes. Q&A with the producers, yes. All those things. In the future, would you like us to stream special programs in international version 2? Yes, of course. Yo, global streams. Global streams would be awesome. The following are promotional activities that took place during the 350 million global download celebration campaign. Please select all of the events that you participated in. Uh, Dragonstone collecting mission. Uh, countdown campaign. Uh, wallpaper gift camp. All of them, basically. If you applied, didn't partic participate in any, what was your reason for not participating? Uh, so I didn't reply to that, so I guess I'm gonna skip that one. Who do you normally exchange information about Dokkan Battle with? Uh, online friends via social media. I played by myself. Oh, I can choose multiple. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> online friends via social media. I don't really have that many online friends or real real life friends that actually play this game, unfortunately. Uh, please let us know how you would like to see Dokkan Battle in the future. Um, a way to use, utilize all the characters I've trained. That sounds good. Dokkan Battle Original Super Move Animation. Original Super Move Animations. I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty cool, so I'm gonna I'm choose that. Uh, more layers of strategy and key, yes. Mode that allows you to battle against friends, yes. Alongside friends, yes. Uh, mode that allows friends to show each other their in game data. In game data. How would that work exactly? What does that mean? Like, I can show you my box? Or. Hmm, I don't know. Ability to train characters more thoroughly. Yes, uh, that'd be cool. I mean, some kind of a additional hidden potential or like a hidden potential plus or something like that. Could be interesting depending on how they implement it, right? So, yeah, I chose all of them just because I'm always down for new modes, man. I'm always down for new ways to play the game. So if they want to, you know, try different things, I'm always open to it. If you have any other thoughts or messages for the operating team, etc., regarding Dokkan Battle, please write them here. Um, you guys are doing a great job. <laughs> job. Keep it up. Am I, am I being too positive? Nah, it's fine. It, you know, I, I gave a little bit of criticism not even really criticism just constructive feedback but uh at the end we're gonna give them a little bit of praise just to end it off on a positive note okay so there you go register and we are set oh reward claimed successfully so should we get our stones now is it that quick whoa that was fast okay wow well, there you go, guys. Go do your surveys. That took a little bit longer than I was hoping for, than I was expecting. But, hey. Seven stones is something, you know, like, I think we should have gotten more, but it's fine. It's fine. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I got to run now because uh, we got a big dinner or big lunch, actually, for my dad's birthday. So, if you want, say happy birthday to my dad in the comments. <laughs> And uh, yeah, as always, if you guys like today's video, make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out. <laughs>